What's up, party people? We are here at Comic Con 2024. I'm Alicia Glass with That's My Entertainment, and we are here for The Tower. And here, we're here with Jack. Please tell us about your character. Hello. Um, I play a young man named Billy Owens. He's from Arkansas, and um, you know he's never seen a mermaid before. So he's uh, he falls in love with one, and um, yeah, yeah. What led you to uh, be interested in playing this character? Right. Well. Um, our director, Adam, approached me for the role. Um, I read it, and I'm really connected with Billy, my character, because he's kind of an outcast. He's a little bit of a goth. And, um, a bit like you in real life, perhaps? A bit like me in real life. Nice. Definitely like a lot like me in high school. And, um, and yeah, I just hadn't seen uh, this kind of genre crossover, like independent Americana, like with the whole like sci-fi element so I thought it was interesting can you perhaps tease something a bit surprising about your character well I will say that this is a uh, it, we haven't really seen mermaids this way it's a very creepy mermaid uh, film so this, you know if you're expecting the little mermaid it's not it's definitely not that but um, yeah let's see as far as my character goes you know he's just yeah, he's just uh, he's just a special he's a special one. A surprising reaction to an unusual creature found in the middle of rural America nowhere. Thank you very much. What's up, everybody? We're here for Mermaids, Mysteries, and Mayhem with the Tower, and you are Cam, aren't you? I am. I just have to tell you, I watched Easy A the other day. Oh, thank you. That was a that was a fun little movie. It surely was. So please tell us about your character. Um, for the Tower, that is. For the Tower. <laughs> Uh, I, he's he, he's a cop, and ooh the law. He's the law, and he kind of you know he's he's that that bravado guy in the the bravado cop in the Midwest nowhere Bill, and he uh, he's at the end of the day he's just kind of a lonely guy, and so underneath all that bravado and all that that stuff is just like a guy who kind of you know is confused has questions is lonely is and then so he's he ends up being you know maybe easy prey for a mermaid well no real experience with any kind of supernatural creature of any kind <laughs> well n no no <laughs> not really I don't <laughs> <laughs> Can you perhaps tease a bit about uh, your character's initial reaction and later on reaction to the mermaid? Oh, I think he is he is being led by his other brain. Head? That's not right. <laughs> let's cut that. <laughs> but he he's No no no, not, let's leave it in. <laughs> leave that in. Yeah, he's not he's not being led by his smarter, you know. I don't know how to say that. There's, there's, there's no way to say that gracefully. That's fine. We get what you mean. Good. Hi. What would you say was the most difficult part about filming your character? Um. Oh wow. Uh, no, there wasn't really. I mean, it. I, I think the character was was not. He was so far removed from who I was, where it was like I could just kind of fall into it, and and it was. Yeah, there wasn't anything that was really too challenging. I was actually, the hardest parts were like when uh, Jack and I would get closer. It, I don't know, there was just a, a bond that we had where it was, you just kind of felt free. So and there was nothing really that hard. I mean, dealing with him, but you know, what are you going to do? Can you tease about something surprising, maybe for a, a journey for your character, the end towards it? Um, uh, karma's a bitch. Nice. Thank you very much. And we are here with... Adam Siegel. I'm the director. That's awesome. So please, t talk to us a bit about the movie, of course, but the, the challenges you face when uh, filming an independent film. 
<laughs> How long do you have? There's a, definitely a lot of challenges with independent films. Um, approximately three minutes. Perfect. I mean, there were a lot of practical challenges with this one, just mostly being that, you know, we are filming a mermaid movie in a water tower, and so we built the water tower. Speaking of practical challenges, talking about uh, practical effects versus CGI. There was no CGI. I mean, we did it practical tail. You're practical talking tail. my jam. Yeah, that's always, I mean, there will be some augmented things but it was all practical the tail the tank all that stuff it's definitely that's fantastic y'all yeah yeah that's independent filmmaking I mean, that's kind of the way i like to do it so yeah can you tease a bit about uh some surprising things besides the actual mermaid uh, the ending's pretty cool um kind of what happens and and what happens to the town and it's sort of mermaid versus small town it's kind of cool Ooh, versus. Yeah. Versus is good. Yeah, exactly. It sounds like the mermaid has reason to be a bit. She's a little chuffed. She's a bit disgruntled. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing your movie. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, everybody? We're here for the tower, murder, mysteries, mermaids, mayhem, everything. It's a pretty good one up here. <laughs> what can you tell us about um, what makes the tower unique? Well, it's, I think you say mermaid picture, you think fun, happy, cute, mermaid. This is quite a bleak little number. I'm a horror gal, so no. It's a, you're true, uh, true, I guess. Um, so I think it was really interesting about that because it, it isn't what you think. It, it is sort of a, it, it's a drama that happens to have a mermaid in it, really. And it's, you know, a story of a sort of a miserable town and this kind of, but, you know, yeah, it's 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 fascinating. It's different. It's very like Adam's previous projects, um, which take a little bit of a spin on something just a little bit abnormal, and but ground it somewhere in the real world. Can you talk a bit about the uh, challenges inherent in doing independent filmmaking? It's a bit of a hell zone. I mean, it's it's not got easier. It's not got easier. Um, I think even at all ends, and we're even seeing it at the top top studio end that you know budgets have got so spiraled at the top end they're not making the money back people are still not happy to taking risks at the lower end um, obviously with any financiers on film it's not a science that you'll get your money back and there's a lot of content out there so it's how you stand out is the trick in some ways which is why things like this are so valuable for us because it gives us an audience to speak to directly of fans who would be interested who would not normally find some of these things they get put into the dark recesses of streaming and that's it they're gone support your independent filmmakers, your filmmakers. Uh, yeah and i'm a massive 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 cinema person rather than just film cinema so my goal is always to put films on a cinema and my god that's the ultimate challenge these days it's really really hard because cinemas are struggling i mean not this weekend we have a great weekend obviously we've had a really nice run of four weeks of great great sort of movies um but yeah get things into the cinemas make it the community aspect of going and seeing these stories together um, but yeah it is a challenge raiding finance is a challenge getting cast that isn't for a major major production a challenge it's the chicken and egg situation for finance you need a cast can't get a cast without finance these things have never changed yeah. but i think in recent i think people are saying recently it's, it's become very difficult you have to really you have to really fight crowdfunding helps for a lot of cases if you have a cast that works for that that's a whole new avenue which i've seen some friends and colleagues work really really well with um, and that's great to have that option and also builds a lot of early sort of advanced chatter too but yeah it's, it's not an easy game you've got to work really hard you've got to have some patience can you tell us where we might find a way to watch your movie? Um, we are looking for a release early next year. We don't have a set date yet, but hopefully in a cinema. Uh, that is the plan. Uh, so we're currently talking to some distributors at the moment. So, yeah, keep an eye out and uh, hopefully we'll get it out there soon. Thank you very much. Good fortune to you. Thank you.